Welcome back to Kingdom Hearts. <laughs> yeah, it's Kingdom Hearts. I want to show you something hilarious. Yes. What am I looking at? To next oh. level. Huh. Huh. <laughs> you gonna kill something and get that level? In the next area. Oh, okay. You're a madman. <laughs> We're all looking <laughs> at Nate with suspense. suspense. They, this has to be a normal world, because it ain't Hollow Bastion. Hmm, I don't remember what else it could be. Let me know when you're ready. Okay, I'll, I'll tell you when I can yep. see the uh, gigantic fucking wall of text. Awesome. Do you remember where we left off? Because I don't. No. Oh my god, it's so big! <laughs> it was sold out. I... Uh, there was stuff about stuff that not. Uh, I. <laughs> edit this out in post. All right. Don't edit this oh, out in post. Oh, this is saying it. Okay. Give me that stick. I got this. Yep. I was very angry because it was all about clothes. Yeah. All about like Celtic knots. You ready? Oh, no. Garbage. Uh, not yet. Okay. Okay, I didn't get that far. I feel like I finished a paragraph. That's like one paragraph. <laughs> I know, but I don't know if I finished it. I don't think you did. No. Whatever, I'm gonna start at... Celtic Knots were mentioned. Yeah. Whatever, fuck it, I'm starting here. If it's not right, I don't give a shit. Alright. <clears throat> they both secretly got each other Christmas presents, however. Sora lab labied his chosen gift for Riku. For obvious reasons, and Sora's was somewhere amongst the bags, all displaying different logos and brands. They pulled up in the driveway just at 4.30. Sora grabbed a handful of bags and unlocked the front door, dumping the bags on the table and grabbing his wallet from the arm of the armchair in the lounge and asked in the more, most serious voice he's, he'd used all day. Yes, even more serious than when remembering the Heartless, getting Riku to take him seriously well. A very serious thing. <laughs> what? Wow. How that serious? That was all one sentence, by the way. Gross. How much he owed... Nope, it's still the same sentence. Never mind, that was a fucking parentheses. <laughs> How much he <laughs> owed Riku. Riku placed the bags he carried in from his car carefully down on the table, tactfully leaving the bag containing Sora's gift in the car. He looked at Sora with one of his please just leave it looks, but Sora wouldn't budge. <sighs> We're free of that paragraph. <laughs> oh my god, finally. <laughs> 50. He said stiffly, his voice flat and monotonous. He obviously hated the idea of taking any money from Sora. Sora pulled a 20, two 10s, and two 5s from his wallet and handed them to him, knowing full well he owed more than 50, knowing also, however, however that he could slip a little more into getting him a really awesome birthday present. His birthday was, after all, on January 13th, very soon after Christmas. Riku put the money in his back pocket and smiled. Time to get ready, he said, grabbing the bags denoted to him, a whirling around, charging down the hall to his room and pumping his stereo up. Yup, Riku was in getting ready for big party mode, not a doubt about it. Sora grabbed his own bags and proceeded to his room, deciding that tonight he would go all out. He would do the unthinkable. This event had occurred only once ever before. He was going to let Riku apply excessive amounts of makeup to his face. Shock. Horror. Big ship is catching up to us. He laughed at himself. Oh yeah, yeah, oh. this world. Imagining Riku's delight at being informed of the, his decision, he grabbed out his clothes and yelled out, BATHROOM'S MINE! Uh, is this <laughs> Peter Pan? You one? better believe it is. Fuck yes! Oh shit! So, I have an uncle that does voice acting for like car commercials and shit. Yeah. I'm thinking about sending him my Kingdom Hearts fan fiction reads with like all my flubs edited out and be like, give me jobs. <laughs> and be like, well, we don't really generally hire based off of fan fiction, but I don't know. But you got the job. Sora. He's been doing some work. 
I heard that Riku is in big party mode, mm -hmm. and he's not going to be stopped. He's getting ready for big party mode. I wonder if that's actually his canon birthday. Sora. Oh, man. <gasps> what? Good to see you again. Well, where are Donald and Goofy? Are they At the bottom of the sea. <laughs> More Sleeping with friends. the fish. Instead of worrying about their them, feet. you should they be asking about her. <gasps> what? Kyrie. He That's roofied right. the shit out of her. Off, <laughs> she is so high right like, now. She has an <laughs> IV of fucking Rufalin in her heart. No shenanigans aboard my vessel. You know, I really like Peter Pan Hook just because of the Robin the Williams hook. The heartless obey me now, so, so understandable. No, I have nothing. They play baseball. You're I've seen stupid. it. Sooner it's great. Later they'll swirl I like your the heart. I like those swords. Chance. My They're pretty good. Strong. Riku. Like swirly eye shark, shark swords. I've picked up a few other tricks as well, like this, for instance. Something heartless. Like being evil. Yeah. Oh man, oh. anti Sora baby. Oh Shit. no, dark Sora. You can go see your friends now. I didn't realize that they would go for the um, evil Sora version of Sora so quickly. So this you, man. They're all about it. <laughs> that scurvy brat thinks he can order me around. What shall we do, Captain Hook? Kill him. <laughs> oh. <laughs> Let them keep an eye on the brats. Even though he's the one summoning them, your logic is fucking perfect. But... Did you hear that, Smee? Oh, that dreadful sound. Is he talking about Sora, though? Are you quite sure? Uh, Did I might imagine be. it? Oh, my poor nerves. Also, the Edgar Allan Poe shit with Hook also made me, like, love him as a character. Like, the whole ticking clock driving him insane shit. Right. Mm -hmm. Right. You don't say. Yeah. His, uh, He's model was looking, Kyrie. like, really I good. As well as the animation oh, along with it. Mm -hmm. well, let's go like, this whole cutscene. Yeah. yeah, everything about this game is fucking gorgeous. Even, like, when they... Devolve into fucking flapping lips every once in a while. Oh, right. <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> he just hangs out. Like, right. I'm just sitting, not laying on top. You don't worry. Don't worry about it. How you doing there? Looking for a way out? <laughs> oh no, stranger danger! Get away! <laughs> I'm the answer. To I'm the Link words. from the Legend of Zelda. <laughs> Where's your hat? I'm a fraud. <laughs> Fine, have it your way. But you're stuck in here too, aren't well, you? Well, excuse me, princess. Just waiting for someone. Who? Yeah, Tink. Tink is banging. What took you so long? I was about to say finally something sexy yeah. in this game. So Tell me about it. You look at that fucking leaf skirt. Hold on. There was another girl there too. Are you crazy? There's no way I'm gonna leave Wendy there. Uh -huh. She must be pretty jealous. <laughs> 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 Kick him more, he likes it. Yeah. Right? He's got them legs for it. She does, dude. She's got some chun Lee thighs. As far as like mosquito sized women go. Large mock. I'm Sora. Okay. We're in this together, but only Don't yeah, well, fuck you. Smell you later. Are you gonna use him? Nope. I used Jack because he was Jack fucking Skellington. It was Peter Pan, dude. He can fly. He can, like, do Zangief suplexes and shit. Yeah, I'm sure. Does he just protect the Russian skies? Yes. Come on, level up. Hey, Dark Sword. Oh, oh, shit, Dark Sword. And all he does is dance. <laughs> he loves to dance. <laughs> Dancing in a pirate ship. Oh, dude, you got second chance from that level, too. Yeah. And fucking Donald, their leaf bracer? What? I didn't think he could get that. This camera is really fucking fantastic, though. Oh, yeah. Let me Red, tell you. Put, uh, second chance on. I would, yeah. I, I would can't take right off now. whatever you need to put on second chance. I can't right now. Yeah. Is that where you came in? Nope. Uh, yellow tree. Yeah, I don't have that. <laughs> Shit! <laughs> That's a foiled again. Bullshit. What about here? Ah! Seems, uh, 
legit. Crab barrel. Those fucking dark sores give you sick experience if you manage to kill them, by the way. Well, it looks like he'll be able to. If he doesn't fucking dip. Look at that tech 150. Damn. Mm -hmm. Shit. Mm -hmm. Alright. <clears throat> Alright, I'm at 0 out of 19, yeah, and that's 5. You could take off stun impact, that's on us. Are you sure? Yeah, stun impact, is that the, like, um... That's, that's a ground explosion. Like, that's pretty nice, but... Mm, it's tech boost. You could definitely take off that. Like, that's very nice, but fucking second chance is godlike. Yeah, alright. Yep, two more. <clears throat> Slapshot you can get rid of for sure. But I don't see the point unless you take off something else. Um, I think you're gonna have to do stun impact, man. Or lucky strike, what is that? It increases the... Yeah, get rid of that. Second chance? Yeah. Alright. Well, I don't know if Leaf Bracer is even that good for Donald, because how often does he even cure? Wait, Not if that. he has a second win? Does he? Second chance? Oh. No, second win. Oh. Oh, okay. That's even better than second chance. <laughs> that revolt, that uh, fucking resurrects you. Yeah, try it down here. Yep, because you just came in that door. Also, oh, it's all spooky down here. Yeah, it is. If we get pizza later, I'm totally getting wings, by the way. Alright. I'm so excited. Declaring <laughs> it right away! I'm pretty excited about wings. I've been thinking about them all day. I'm like, man, I should just order wings. <laughs> it's understandable. We can get it earlier this time, so we don't feel as shit as we did at, like, midnight last time. <laughs> yeah, that'll happen. We definitely won't just... Dude, Goofy gets second chance, too. Holy shit. Dude, second chance and that other one he has, if you could have both of those, that would be fucking ridiculous. Yeah, because Brad's getting uh, five um, tech points each time he parries, but um, I guess that's not comparable to when he was fighting Dark Sora. No. Well, he still got 150 from, like, killing him. True. Like the power tech points like, like whoa 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 power gem. What, what's that? I guarantee that's a synthesis item. Gonna hit up that move. Oh, also what? Brad checked, and we cannot get the like ultimate keyblade. Nah. Why? We have to do a bunch of synthing. Yeah. So. Do you want to do synthing? Sure. It's not the synthing that's the hard part. It's the farming for fucking mats. Like, also, you would have to I go, think, like, um, fight those mushrooms. He needs to mushrooms. fight, um, Heartless in, um, Atlantica. Yeah. You have oh, to yeah, farm Heartless in, like, literally every fucking zone, and it's obnoxious. So, awesome. so you can go back to other worlds and fight Heartless? Sure. Yeah, they'll still be there. Oh, okay. I thought they all disappeared. No. I guess they disappear, like, when From you're still in the world, right after you beat a boss. Either that or it's in the main area, because I remember going around um, uh, Halloween Town and there was nothing. There's definitely shit in Halloween Town, because um, there's a unique, like, kind of side boss there now, where Oogie Boogie's tower was. If you go back there now, there's a unique heartless that is a pain in the fucking ass. To be. So we should try it out at some point. Maybe. There's, uh, there's the two U.S. secret bosses you should definitely fight. One is in this area after you clear it, and one is in Agrabah. Alright. That one's just like, I think he just dropped some good synth shit, but... Mm. Please tell me he allows you to fly. Cannot confirm nor deny. It'd be really good if I could get Glide from Peter Pan, because it makes sense. I don't know, he is spraying pixie dust on you right now. Do you believe that you can fly? Because that's all that matters. He's a duck. He should be able to fly anyway. <laughs> yeah. Also, good God, you've seen those thighs on that fucking thing. Yeah, I am. They're Christ pretty great. Almighty. They're very well modeled. <laughs> oh. <laughs> fucking me. There are seven, supposedly. I'm a 
Maleficent says she's not one of them. Hoist anchor as soon as possible. Leave all the dead weight behind, including her. After the trouble of capturing her? And why those seven? What is Maleficent planning anyway? Who knows? As long as it means getting Kyrie's heart back, I couldn't care less. <laughs> You're wasting your time. The Heartless have devoured that girl's heart. I'll stake me other hand, it's lost forever. I will find it, no matter what. Look like how deep we're getting into this fucking Kingdom Hearts lore right now. Yeah. It's like yeah. a fucking Xenoblade cutscene. <laughs> <laughs> it's like, everyone shut up, it's fucking plot happening. Jesus. that Peter Pan. Alright then, bring the hostage to me cabin, Smee. Did you watch the uh, speed run for this at all? No, the only time I came in is... Um, when I fucking yelled at you. <laughs> yeah, I saw... Like, all I saw... Like, seriously, all I saw was... Um, I saw this new area with this crazy boss, and I saw, like, oh, hey, they have a lot of... They have, like, fucking purple health. That's crazy. Mm -hmm. And I just remember you going, like, get the fuck out of here. What are you doing, spoilers? I watched it. Yep. So, yeah, I have no idea where that was or what it was. That was, like, endgame bullshit. All right. She's drugged. Mm-hmm. She moved her hand. She still has something in there. Oh, or man. the gravity just shifted. Nah. I'm gonna tip this uh, wardrobe on her. <laughs> this will wake her up. <laughs> She's dead, anyways. Uh. Um. Uh, what? Wendy. Oh, they're getting hey, fucking get ganked by oh. some. Uh, okay, I thought like Kyrie Gob and fucking ganked Wendy. Nah. Can you imagine? That'd be crazy. I'd watch it. She becomes a true heartless. Gummy pieces. Alright, <laughs> mm. uh, Remember, Brad, you haven't believed yet. Yeah, dude, do you. I don't even think you believe you can fly. Isn't that where you came from? Yeah. I was just thinking where to go. Finding the door. Ah. I feel like this is a hallway where you just did. No, I just went up. Uh, yeah, but. Yeah, dude, that 150 Ooh. attack, man. Oh, shit. Oh. I wonder if you can uh, go up the, uh, the ladder. Probably. Eventually, you should be able to. Cause yeah, this is the same room you're in. Hmm. This camera is fucking abysmal, dude. I know. <laughs> Holy shit. It's probably why I'm uh, it's like from lost. Gears of <laughs> yeah. War horse shit right now. Where's fucking Dom? Get over here, chainsaw piece of shit. I always played as Follow the damn train, CJ. <laughs> Let's play Gears of War next. Oh yeah, who even has that game? I do. Do you? Yeah. Oh! I think so. I, I used to. It's in here. Fucking meat sponges all day. Ah! Can we play some Counter-Strike Go? Yeah, I have that. <laughs> fucking, I'll just have Jordan play that. Or I was, th I was thinking of playing a uh, Sip 5. That could be okay. You play. It'd have to be really fast, though. Like, really fast uh, turns. Yeah. Because otherwise, it would be 20 minutes of me going up next turn. Next well, I don't turn, know, dude. Next turn. I'm nice. on an island. No one is next to me. I, I totally just waiting tried for to boats. Do that. Uh huh. Yeah. I, well, granted, fucking, we've been watching, what, five hours of fucking Vinny Caravella trying to get on the moon? Well, Drew, but that's him trying to work towards something. Like, me just sitting around pressing next turn for 20 minutes. Yeah. Isn't exactly, like, the best as I'm like, oh, yep, got this warrior. Just fucking read a book, dude. Warrior Practice here. on your fucking uh, audiobook narration. <laughs> I, I find a Civ V uh, fan fiction. Yeah. Where it's just uh, Gandhi. I'll give you one of these books, and then you can just read them. Oh, sweet. I'm almost done with fucking Spider. Nice. Yeah, so, all, all Civ Five uh, fan fiction is just Gandhi launching nukes. That's all it's about. And jerking off the entire time. Yeah, to there, the destruction. There can't be any non-sexual fan fiction, as far as I'm concerned. No. That doesn't exist. Yeah. Like and even if someone claims there is non-sexual fan fiction, they're this is they're wrong. Game. The Keyblade. Gravity. Oh. Well, you do have the. Uh, 
the better version of gravity. Remember? Or Vera. Yeah. Try that Trinity. Can you do yellow yet? No. Well then. So anything over here? In that room Not where you place. saw Kyrie, I think there's an opening that you missed. Are you sure you can't go up that other ladder? You have to do something to open yeah, it. Yeah, there's a um, blocked. I can't. Like even... there's a trap door that's open or closed at the moment. You can eventually, but I don't remember why. Is it in here? There's a door next to that ladder, though. Yeah, no, I went in there before. Go if you can get back to that room where Kyrie was. Also, there's that trap door thing right there. I don't know if it's a legit door or not yet. Getting like, my experience. Uh, yeah. It's so hard to remember what, like, the course of fucking doors you have to go in and out of until you get cutscene is in this game. Yeah, and especially with oh, the camera gosh. so bad. Yeah. And here's the spooky under area. Yeah. Uh, there's that ladder. There was up here. Yeah, that's where Kyrie oh, was. Okay. <laughs> okay, in the, um, one of the corners, there's a rip in the ceiling. Oh, oh, there. Good call. Definitely wouldn't have found that. <laughs> <laughs> so I feel justified in telling you of, it, of its existence. Right, that. You're just doing your job as the Kingdom Hearts expert. Yeah, yeah. I'm just trying to keep a flow. Yeah, save point. Nice. Put the pan in that party, dude. Pan maybe if you put Peter Pan in your party, you can fly. Maybe. I, I don't believe that's true. Maybe that's how you start oh. believing. Oh, green trinity. You can do green, right? Yeah. I think all I can't do right now are white and yellow. I thought yellow was just pushing, but I guess. No, that's red. I think. Mm. No, red is like. Oh man. Oh shit. Where does it go? I don't know. Guru. Yeah, like what? Okay. Alright. All right. Oh. Camera angles. Yeah. <laughs> Invert Going those back cameras. to go forward and then back to go down. A perfect combination. Oh, yeah. I know where you are. This fight's fun. <laughs> oh, that <laughs> was a fight. Wire Trinity. Yeah. Yeah, how would you progress with it? If I told you to put pan and you listened, what yeah. would you do in that situation? Oh, <laughs> We'd still be looking around. The guy is kind of a cocksucker. I, I like that, uh, like, that head co cocked to the side. Mm -hmm. that's, that's always fun. In uh, the speedrun of this, this is one of the fucking reset bosses. Because he just does so much fucking damage to you when you're, like, level one. Even without, apparently, you got defense for days. <laughs> you do have second chance, but whatever. God, I still can't get over the final fight health bars, man. Yeah, it's much better than just having a health bar going like all the way across the screen. Mm -hmm. Or if they wanted to be like, oh, Jesus. jokey about it, they could just have it cover the entire screen and then you couldn't see it. See anything. I think that'd be worth something. Yeah. And then eventually you can just see it when you get blown up. Right. I just, I don't know, dude, I have such a fucking hard on for nostalgia for the uh, old brawler type health bars like that, man. It's fine, man. It's the best fucking way to display health. I don't think anyone's gonna blame you for liking that. <laughs> oh, what cocksucker! Jesus mm -hmm. Christ! He's got those fucking teleport strats. Oh my god! They're both dead, dude. You gotta do this on your own. Did that work? No. If only there was a strat like with um. Shadow Link in Ocarina of Time. Yeah, just crouch. Or just Megaton Hammer. Just crouch and hit your sword, also. That's the Zelda 2 strat. <laughs> I always hated that fight in Ocarina. 
Was that one about the Megaton Hammer? Yeah, it was, was, was alright. Because um, Shadow Link cannot parry the um, Megaton Hammer. In fact, he can't do anything about it. Nice. Does it do like solid damage then also? Yeah. yeah. You only need like four hits with the Megaton Hammer to take him out. It's not like when, if you use the Master Sword and you like stab and he just jumps on your sword. <laughs> it's like, get off my sword, you motherfucker. Should I play Twilight Princess? I think so. It's fine. Should I play Skyward Sword? No. I haven't played it. Oh, okay. I haven't, yeah, I haven't played it. I don't like the um, the idea that I just have to use the remote as a sword. I actually like that more. Because Zelda's become so stale to me that I will take anything to make it interesting again. How about becoming a wolf? <laughs> Not enough. It's still just Zelda. There's a lot of links in this room right now. Links. <laughs> Sora. <laughs> nope, it's Link. If they did Mushroom Kingdom Hearts, like uh, the EGM April Fool's joke, I would fucking buy nine copies. <laughs> God damn it, like... If they got like the Mario RPG or Paper Mario guys in with the fucking Kingdom Hearts guys and made a goddamn crossover to end all crossovers. That'd be nice. Oh. Do Dude. you hear how um, people want um, uh, Yacht Club to make a Shovel Knight RPG in like Super, yeah. Mario, Super Mario RPG right. style? Yeah, like honestly those guys like they um it's becoming news again now because they just did that 8-4 interview, but they've been saying they want to do a natural progression for Shovel Knight for like two years now, where they want to do an SNES one and then yeah. they want to do fucking Shovel like Knight 64. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Like I the 64 I... is the one where they really want to get down on it. I know, I think I remember hearing them talk about that like a year or so ago. Yeah, it's some retro gamer podcast that I don't listen to anymore, but it's okay. It's like... Player One, maybe? I've heard of that. I think I've it might be bad. To it myself, but... It's okay, it's like two 40-year-old men talking about fucking Nintendo games. Alright. <laughs> That's minimal. They want to talk it, about, but... like, old Nintendo games. They, should, they could talk about Super Mario 64 for days. Yeah, it's just two less charismatic Jeff Gersmans just hating the world, talking about shit. Alright. They're alright. But they, the 8-4 one they just did was really good, too. That was 8-4's most recent podcast. Okay. Yeah, I haven't listened to 8-4. Eight, 8-4. Four, eight, four, I, I took a break. I used to listen to them every month, but, like, Mark McDonald kind of grates on me after a while. Like, how, how come? I don't know. Like, he just has, like, that weird, like, fucking everybody shut up, I'm talking sort of vibe yeah. to him. And just like, I know he's the host and he's trying to keep it on track, but he just comes off like a oh cock gosh. all the time. That Shadow Star was being a motherfucker. Those two techs in a row, though. Yeah. You can do this work, dude. I can watch you dance and fight this fucking Shadow all the time. Doesn't matter if you get full combos ever. Nope. If you get a full combo on the main one, do the uh, clones disperse? Uh. But they still have to do two fucking alternate night campaigns for Shovel Knight. Yeah, and they fucking say in that eight four one that they. Uh, they put too much effort into Plague Knight. <laughs> they went in too hard, and they just were like being real OCD and perfectionist about it. And they're not gonna do that for the other two because otherwise they'll be fucking working on Shovel Knight until like 2020. Yeah. And I understand the need for them to want to make the other Shovel Knights. Yeah. Like... As as much as the original Shovel Knight is really cool. Having another game yeah, in Shovel I'm, Knight is... I'm just, like, I, I really do appreciate their fucking devotion and, like, honesty regarding their Kickstarter and giving everything out that they promised, but fuck, I want them to be done with that game and start working on something fresh. Yeah. 
Because they're still working on it now, and they're not going to be done probably until next year. I know. Like, like that fuck. is the one Kickstarter I'm so glad I backed. Yeah, yeah I really wish I would have. Like, I would... If I could go back in time, I would take all of my money I put in the fucking Mighty Number no. 9 and put it in the fucking Shovel Knight, too. Like, my fucking Shovel Knight is the reason I'm not as salty about Mighty Number no. 9 as I should be, because Shovel Knight exists. Because you have that, um, Mega Man... Yeah, like, like, I have the real, like, fucking fan call-out to Mega Man that I wanted from my number nine. And it's not the, oh, Mega Man creator wants to create media empire out of game that doesn't quite exist yet. Yep. Oh, man, he made a show about it. Shovel Knight anime, coming soon. I, I, I would watch well, it. I would watch that before fucking my number nine, because my uh, number nine's characters make me want to throw up in my fucking mouth. Yeah, they're not great. They're awful. They're dog shit. Fuck. God, I should have. I would rather do Bloodstain, too, even with the boob controversy. <laughs> one try! <laughs> you beat everything in one try, you <laughs> cheater. <laughs> oh, so I got strength up. It's all about defense. Mm hmm. Defense is cheating. 